There are many practical ways parametrics can enhance and speed up engineering workflow. Some of these are explored in this video, including rapidly testing framing options, creating analysis models derived from architectural information, including anything with difficult geometry, assisting in collaboration with others in different model formats, greatly speeding up the drafting process, controlling and speeding up management of change, using parametric techniques for structural analysis, and finally, creating visualizations and material schedules. Parametrics allows engineers to generate geometry and other information based on rules and variable inputs. Inputs can be values, loading, or other geometry, and can be live or fixed constraints. For example, a truss element can be varied in length or height, or in the number of intermediate elements. Once tools are familiar, structural framing can be rapidly iterated to test multiple variations. This can be used for both in the initial stages of a project and also later when adjusting for change during design development. Another example may be a portal frame building where span, spacing, height and location of braced bays can all be controlled on the fly. Geometry is one element of information that can be manipulated. However, loading, section sizing and other attributes can also be controlled and used to export to an analysis package. Structural framing can be made to fit architectural geometry by projecting onto an envelope of the boundary shape. This is particularly useful when geometry is complex or has an organic or freeform shape. This technique can be combined with dynamic input to control spacing, segmentation and secondary framing. This method is invaluable if geometry changes during development, as a parametric script can automatically update its outputs to suit. In a more digital world, increasing numbers of programs and formats are being developed for design information. This increased fragmentation means that the sharing of changes between designers has become more difficult over time. Parametric techniques can help overcome this bottleneck because it can automate the transfer of information. For structural engineers, geometry can be directly converted between architectural or analysis models, avoiding the need to model by hand. This saves time and resources and usually results in higher accuracy. For example, geometry from an architectural Revit file may be converted directly into ETAPS or SpaceCAS. Similarly, analysis model geometry can be transferred directly to the BIM model, avoiding the need for the second process of manual drafting to replicate work that's already been done. For example, geometry from an ETABS model may be brought directly into Revit. By extending the techniques used to generate dynamic framing, scripts can be created which undertake structural analysis and display the results on the fly. Analysis results may be taken directly from a truss, once loading and section sizes are specified within the script, for example. The technique is usually more suited to repetitive design tasks rather than one-off projects because creating parametric tools can require a fairly large investment of time to achieve results. Designers should be aware that analysis inside parametric scripts may be limited in terms of techniques, region or code requirements. For example, wind or earthquake loading specific to Australia would have to be carefully derived from the codes to be applicable. For many purposes, the 
Technique also requires additional plugins on top of the standard software. While free plugins provide some features, licenses are often required for full functionality. Information from models can be extracted and exported in many forms, including numerical data, text, and model visualizations. Sizes, lengths, and tonnage can be formatted into tables for material schedules, which can in turn generate charts and statistics. The data can also be used to generate visualizations such as color coded models and shapes. Color coding can track any parameter available in the model and could include analysis information such as forces and loading. Thanks for watching. If you found any of the information in this video valuable, please leave a like or find out more with the links in the video description below.